Farmer Natural Resources, Fisheries Divisions, Northern Lake Huron Management Unit. So here on the North Branch of Sauble, doing a population estimate today. We are picking up the site at the Twin Bridges, uh, doing a mark and recapture population estimate, and follow up on some historical data that was collected here over the years. Last time we were here was 2010. We're back here at this site to kind of do a check-in, see what the population's doing, especially in light of considerable amount of habitat work that's gone on in this stretch, see how that may be impacting or influencing the population, species, size, structure, survival, things like that. We are doing a mark and recapture population estimate. This happens over a two-day period at each site. This station here is 1,255 feet long, historically established, and we'll go through one day and mark, uh, do the marking run of the survey. We're only, in this instance, looking at trout. There are other species we're capturing, black-nosed dace, common white sucker, some johnny darters, certain small bait fish, you might say, sculpin, things like that. They will clip the fin, and basically that's to know that we marked it today. So when we release it, if we catch it again, we know we got it. But that plays an important part in the next day's recapture run. When we go through, we record the species. Here we're seeing brook trout and brown trout. We record the length uh, to the tenth of an inch. We'll later lump those into inch groups, one to 1.9 inches as an example, or 10 to 10.9 inches is the 10 inch group. So the person with the what we call the belly board, which is a net, it's a hoop with a net in it to hold fish, and a measuring board. He'll measure the fish, he'll clip. On the first day, he clips just a little edge off the top of the tail fin, the caudal fin. And then he'll collect a scale sample for a certain subset of those. For each inch group, say the 10 inch group, we'll collect 10 uh, scale samples from 10 fish. And what we do this winter, uh, our technicians will go back and process those scale samples and determine how old the fish is. It's kind of like reading rings on a tree but much more complicated than that. It's definitely both an art and a science in terms of determining fish ages using scales. So what they normally do is they will press the scale into a piece of plastic. Then they'll put that under a microfiche reader. It magnifies them on a bigger screen. We're able to determine the age of a fish. Uh, we've perfected the uh, system over many decades. We divide the river up into manageable portions where we can concentrate and focus on it on a certain area and structure. For instance, we'll go up one side of the river, uh, electrofishing, we'll drop back down, then if there's an island, we'll go and proceed up that island on that side, drop back down, then go repeat the process on the other side of the island. Every stretch, every river, we approach differently, just trying to effectively cover the entire river and give the same amount of effort between days to make sure we cover the same habitats in the same way. Our crew in Bay City actually helped us build the barge we're using now. It's made out of fiberglass and Kevlar, so it's nice and light and maneuverable for towing, but it holds a generator and a control box and, and some reels which we, to which we hook up probes. The bottom of the boat acts as one end of the circuit and the probes act as the other. You can turn the probes on and off and it'll attract the, the electricity will attract and stun fish. So involuntary muscle movement will cause them, on these electrofishing barges, will cause the fish to swim towards the probe. And once they're stunned, we net them and pass them to the guy with the belly board for processing. We're also fortunate enough at this site to have the assistance of volunteers from Mason Griffith Founders Chapter TU and Anglers of the Asable, helping us out shuttling fish, transferring fish from the shockers to the belly board to the, to the tub where we keep fish for later scale samples and processing. It's one thing I love and hate about my job. With nets and electricity, I'm a fantastic fisherman. I know where, where all these fish are, but I wouldn't know that by just my hook and line sample, you know? although I enjoy that as well. But this really gives me gives the opportunity to get a complete look at the trout population, all size classes, and fish that you normally wouldn't catch.